What's going on, folks and folk of Ramas? I'm Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to the channel. Uh, you guys should all know what to do by now. Uh, you know, if you've been following this channel for a while, double check to make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure the bell notifications turned on. And not only that, make sure that you just go on the internet, have a tab pulled up on my channel and keep it there and refresh it every now and then because you are not going to be notified when I post a video. Appreciate that. Okay. I want to bring all attention to this because a lot of you guys all, you know, I tell you guys when I go out or if I get into like a discussion or something like that, I say you run into people that when you go out and you talk about how they can do the same thing that you did, you always going to have some folks that have like a certain type of mentality where they will try to just find some way to deflect there, try to find some way to derail you in your thinking and they want to make it seem like they are so smart in what they're saying that all you do is find yourself just in this wind of just nonsense. So I was on a show last night uh, called the Big Mike Drop. Shout out to the Big Mike Drop. And look, I'm willing, I'll am i talk on anybody's panel. I don't care. These guys are on here. A lot of stuff that we talked about. There was a lot of disagreeing that was going on. It was a lot of chaotic stuff going on in there. It was just chaos with some stuff. But um, I made sure I respect the people. But So what I'm saying is for is this. You guys are getting ready to see an exchange unfold where I was telling people this. And I want you to understand what I'm saying here. I was making a point to where I was, I've been called an Uncle Tom, Porch Negro, House Negro, etc. So what I would do sometimes, I'll tell people like, oh, because I haven't killed somebody now, I'm a sellout too, huh? See what I'm saying? You get that? I just said, oh, because I haven't killed anybody, I'm a sellout too, right? Also, because I haven't been to jail, I'm a sellout too, huh? Also, I've been married 21 years, I'm a sellout too, ain't I? Oh, I have two sons, 20 and 18 years old, neither one of them got no girl pregnant, etc., etc. I'm a sellout too, right? So what I'm saying... And what y'all about to see in this exchange, I'm telling this guy that people have called me House Negro, Uncle Tom, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm the one that threw it in there and said, oh, I'm a sellout too, right? So I hope y'all understand this. But what I'm saying is for the, to my mentorees, you will see how you make sure you always stick to your guns, stay on par, because people will try to deflect and distract. Sometimes people can say a whole lot of words without making no point in driving anything home. And that's exactly what this guy did. So I want y'all to watch this. Just watch this. And I tell y'all all the time, whenever somebody <laughs> starts to just get off track and do a lot of nonsense, y'all see my comedic side kick in a little bit and, I, and it frustrates them. But all in all, this guy still never drove it home. And y'all going to see this change here. So enjoy. I know I'm not any of those yeah, things at all. Because what you are, based off what you've explained, is the same thing that has led us to be in the same place. Prosperity preaching. We already No, went nobody. No, you ain't about to classify me with no prosperity preaching, folks. I'm all against that I nonsense. Am. Oh, I am. I know that. No, no. Yeah, you got you classified me wrong. You oh, definitely got me wrong on that one. I don't know if let, him, let him finish, though. Let him finish, though, because I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see where you're going. Finish up, world class. Let's see. So again, I mean, I've already nailed this. <laughs> I've already nailed this point. They, they're, so, you, your example is evidence in and of itself. We've seen this already. It's like just because people don't have the results that you want, you think that somehow they don't they lose their recognition ability. No, they that's what you're saying. I didn't say that. You saying that? I don't think you said okay, cool. that. Uh, uh you're saying that's your own thinking right now. You came up with that end result, not me. How then? How you you do by you thinking that you know what I was, I was thinking finished? when I said that? That's you, no. bro. That's not me. Because I was finished saying what I was saying. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. That's what you came up with for me finishing, right? You came up with the thing that you interrupted me with because I was finished. Yes. I, you forty. I'm thirty six. I asked you a question. You didn't hear it. I'm waiting for you to finish your point. But I did ask you a question just now, yes? Because you interrupted me, right? Finish your point. <laughs> I just asked you a question. Oh, I forgot. What was it? You forgot. Okay, let me remind you. 40 years old. I'm 36. My memory is better than yours, right? So, again. Uh, you, yeah, if you, you say, if you say that. You, based off what you said. You you are just astonished at how these people don't understand things. And these no, nope, I didn't say that. You're saying that now. You are saying I didn't say I was astonished at anything. Understand. I said based off what you said. What part of that did you not hear? You still not getting to your point. You keep yeah, on trying to yeah, show I, how I know. Oh, you not, not hearing me. I'm forty. You thirty. Dude, get to your right, point. Right. What's the point? Based off what you said, you said that they called you a sellout because you're not killing people. No, not I didn't. Killing, not no, killing. I didn't. Nope. 
You got me wrong. Let me tell you what I did say. What I said was this. I said, oh, I'm a sellout. I said, I have a 21. I have a 20 year old son and eight year old son, but I'm a sellout. I haven't killed anybody, but I'm the sellout. I've been married 21 years. I'm a sellout. I didn't say they said that based off of me saying that. I didn't say that you said that based you off. You literally of just said you they said. My statement started with based off what you said, so I wouldn't have to repeat it verbatim. Would you finish your point? I'm really trying to get you get to your point. What's your point? See what I'm saying? So hate to interrupt this, guys, but that's what I'm saying. See, look how it went to now. We're talking about, oh, you you went to this, you went to that. This dude is still not driving no point home at all. I'm just trying to have him get to the point. He want to go, you 40, you 30. Y'all, just watch how this unfolds. because this is really interesting. This is... <laughs> you want to get me get to the point why you keep talking while I'm asking you the question? Watch this. So based off what you said, you are the person that said that they called you a sellout. My question initially was... I didn't say that. Again, that's what based off means. I know you don't understand linguistics. That means I don't have to say what you said verbatim. Are you going to finish your point? You're going to try to... You do. You're doing this very thing a lot of people in the hood do. You're just throwing out insults, that's trying fine. to show how... I'm look not, how smart I'm I am. Not, you 36, you 40. You don't understand. See, I'm smarter than you. I got an electrical degree. I got a metro rocket this. I've done all these wonderful things. Dude, make your point. What is your point? My, my point is being clear. As I'm saying something, stop talking because you're 40 and I'm 36. <laughs> there we go again. Wait, no oh, wait, tell, wait, tell, tell me how old I am again. 40. You said how, how old are you again? 36. Now, now another, another 30 seconds we wasted again. The brain cells. How old are you? Again? I know because you can't stop talking. Wait, how, how now I sat back and stopped talking and you started doing it again. But then finish you your point you, again. You don't have a point, do you? I, I do. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't have a point, man. You don't have a point. That's why you can't arrive to nowhere. You want to keep on throwing out how old I am. Oh, you said, dude, I make, your, when you make your point. Make your point. Make it. Here, I'm going I'm to even shut the screen off. Here you go. It's the, there you go, the mic part. So based off what you said, my initial question again was you are, you are referring to these people. Like I said, you don't have this. You, all of a sudden, they somehow lose their recognition ability just because they don't have the results that you think they should have which is why you're there to help them in the first place, the 50 children that you mentioned. But as you are saying that they're selling somebody out, doesn't mean it's not because you have an 18 year old, a 20 year old murder, selling somebody out is them. They recognize this stuff because you are the same prosperity pre preacher that we've recognized, that we've always been dealing with in the Boulay system. And you a murderer. Yeah, because you're stealing shit from people. You a murderer. You're selling people out. Right, you a murderer, you a thug, you a deadbeat father too. What does that have to do with what I said? Because you throwing words around, just like I'm doing the same thing no, you're doing. You call me around. a prosperity, a prosperity person. preaching person. So I mean, yeah. you're not getting, you you're not that. getting nowhere, dude. You're not getting anywhere. You're not even saying nothing. What's two plus two? What did I say that you don't understand? I didn't say I didn't understand something. I said you're not saying nothing. You are not saying nothing. At all, I said, based off what you said, you already explained to me. You, 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 what you don't realize is you, you have explained I, to me, and you've explained, explained with your own mouth that you are a fucking prosperity. I didn't know this was my mouth, I didn't know this was mine. I didn't yeah, know I was I 40. Either. You are proving you're a prosperity preacher. You're the one that keeps going to these people, and you don't understand why they're calling you a cone, and they, you, you don't understand why they're calling you a sellout because you're I didn't so say I didn't understand. What well, didn't you, you didn't say you didn't understand? Nope, okay. That's what's good about these videos. He can always go back and you right. can go back 30 seconds a minute hope, back. I hope you go back through this. I don't have to. I know what I said. Okay, that's great. So you don't you, so you didn't say you didn't understand, right? Nope. Okay. Cool. I said so, no, cool. I go and do this, no, no, but then no, no, what no, I do is I get the stuff back where people I saying it differently the second you're a sellout. I, I'm a sellout. You still haven't not made your point yet. You know I, I'm gonna wait crazy. for you to make your I'll wait okay. for you to make your point. You I'll be done. Again. Ain't that crazy how you gotta mute again? You still ain't made your point. Quit trying to do you trying to deflect. You do like what I do. I do this all the time. You are deflecting because you don't have a point to make, man. You don't have a point. I think he was asking you a question. He was waiting for the No, I already made the point. Plenty of No, no, you didn't. You are a sellout because like they said you are. Okay. the same thing that they recognize. A prosperity preacher, you called me. That's what I said. Uh-huh. Okay, so now what? I didn't make it up. You said it. Look, man. What is your point? You said that you were called a sellout. What is your point? My I'll point say this. Is what I said initially. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My, my, ahead, my, my point is what I said initially. Because they don't have the results that you think they should have, you act as if they don't have no recognition skill. Nope. You're saying that. I didn't say that. 
You get what I'm saying? I'm you saying that. that I didn't say that. Saying things. You that's are saying point. that, dude. That's your you conclusion. That's not mine. With your own mouth, your stupidity. You are explaining to us that you. Look how you're trying to throw words in there. Your shots is not going to work. Your stupidity, dude. Quit trying to make it seem like you got some type of superiority I intellectual. Do, do. You don't. You yeah, have not made a point. What's your point? I'm not a listen. You I, right. I'm you 36. I'm 40. You got glasses on. I got a white hat on. I got a house. I'm sitting in a brown chair. We all. Okay. What's your point, man? And then I had to correct you with your own. Body. What's your point? I already asked. I already said my point. That's the point. Okay. Ask me the question again so I can mouth. answer it. Maybe I can answer it this time. What's your question? I'm not asking you a question. Okay. So well, there's nothing we can be talking about right now. So can I go back on to something else? Asking a question. Can I go back to something else? Can we get on to something else? What are we doing? Am I making a point or asking a question? So anyway, like I was saying, is I was that on the you go there and you try to help these the kids out. I mean, and when you try to actually give these kids something to aspire to, a lot of the parents, because they didn't have an opportunity to do that, the parents get upset and they start calling you all these different names. And so what I do whenever these parents call me, call me names is they start calling me an Uncle Tom, start calling me a coon. I say, yeah, I'm an Uncle Tom. I'm a coon. I'm a sellout, right? I'm a sellout because I did not do X, Y, and Z. That's why I'm a sellout. I didn't say they called me a sellout. I'm the one that told them, oh, I'm a sellout because I did X, Y, Z. So you I didn't say. I think, from out of asking, I think asking questions like. Uh, see, was that hard to understand, folks? This is what I'm talking about. You have to make sure that when you were in the conversation, see, I was really engaged and listening to what he's saying. But when it gets to a point to where a person does nothing more than to say, see how smart I am. You see what I'm doing? You see you 40 and 36. I can remember things you can't. See, then the focus becomes about that. That's why I kept on. I told you on my comedic side kicked in. That's why I, eventually I just stopped hearing what the dude was saying. I just started going home. I mean, I just started going on. Excuse me. I just started going on, driving my point home again about that. So, again, for the folks that cannot comprehend this, if I'm talking to a group of people and they start saying, you Negro, you Uncle Tom, dude, you a bootlicker, da, da, da. Then I go, oh, okay, yeah, I'm an Uncle Tom. I'm a bootlicker. I'm a house Negro. I'm a Porsche Negro. You know, then I'll throw in there and say, you know what? Also, I'm a sellout, right? I'm a sellout because I now see y'all get it. I didn't say they called me that. I'm the one that threw it in there and said, also, I'm a sellout, right? I asked them a question. That's like a rhetorical crest. I'm a sellout, right? Oh, because I da, 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 da. I said this already, folks. And like I said, this guy was on there. It was no, I mean, it was no reason to attack i just think when it all comes down to it what y'all will find is when you get into a certain type of conversation ladies and gentlemen you will have folks who have a inferiority complex if you come somewhere and you're speaking knowledge and truth and people are digging it and they're buying into it you will always find somebody just for some other reason they want to find some avenue some way to try to just debunk what you're saying and they'll start to attack you see he started to attack me and not the message notice my message was about these kids getting out of the hood, me showing them the way, me leading them gone, and me telling them they can do exactly what I can do. He went to that and he twisted around as if I was insulting these people's intelligence or something because they couldn't arrive to where I was. And that's why I said, No, that's not, no, that's not my thinking. You said that. See what I'm saying? That's what they try to do. He is the very reason why a lot of black people will not try to get out of the hood because he'll go in there and what a lot of people, I'm just being real, what a lot of people know to do. When they feel like they're intellectually inferior, what they would try to do is attack you. You know what I'm saying? Notice how he called me. He said my stupidity. Notice how he said my memory is better than yours. And you 40, I'm 36. What does that have to do with the message that I was talking about as far as encouraging these black people in the community to be able to go to school? How they can start over. You can go to college. I don't care what your age is. I had people that was in the therapy program with me that was 55 years old. One lady was Jean. She was almost 60 years old in the therapy program. You go from that to folks saying, see, but when you saying that, you saying that because you arrived there, there's no, you said that, dude, not me. You thinking that, not me. Y'all get what I'm saying? So anyway, that was just a little thing for my little mentor reason to y'all that see these type of panels that we I get on and some of the folks you got to deal with. But the point is what I do when I deal with people that's like this young man right here, <laughs> I'm just messing with him. Uh, what I do with folks like that, I have to ignore them and go on and keep on talking to the kids and say, and or, or folks that's trying to get somewhere. Y'all, let's go and do this. I'm not about to have time to sit there and argue with you over what you assuming that my thought process was because you don't know my thought process. That was his assumption. So anyway, folks, I know that was entertaining to y'all. Let me know what y'all think by leaving in the comments below after this video. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I hope and pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.